Paul Zimmer was one of Musical.ly's biggest stars at the height of its app. From posting cute couple Musical.ly's with his partner at the time, Jamie Rose, slashing his quote unquote hot boy abs, to live streaming constantly on the sister app Lively. Paul Zimmer was accused of financially exploiting his fan base who happened to be under the age of 16 in exchange for duets, BFFs, and a few more prizes. Paul would only sometimes deliver on these promises of shout outs, duets, DMs. Oh, she sent in a dab reel which gets you an instant reaction to your music these. If you guys wanna check her out, click right here on the top contributor. She he is number one right now. <laughs> to y'all music, please. Boop, boop. He would barely even post the duets that people were paying him to do with them. This is when the movement hashtag ban Paul Zimmer started trending like hardcore over on Musical.ly. Well, Paul Zimmer has evidence of him going on to little kids' accounts and posting, you guys should send me points, come to my lively, follow me, get a duet. And every time they'll send like over 100,000 points, he goes, oh my gosh, you're almost there. And these kids are maxing out their parents' credit cards because they think, Oh my gosh, this big person wants me to do a duet with them. This is about the real reason why people hate Paul Zimmer. If you've been on this app for a long time and have been in Paul Zimmer's live streams, you'll know that he manipulates little kids into sending him gift points. He goes into Crown Music's top contributors and comments on their music leaves. If you send me 100,000 gift points on my next live stream, I'll duet with you. Because of how bad this movement had gotten oh so quickly, Paul later deleted basically all of his social media and vanished alongside his partner at the time, Jamie Rose. Both of them quit social media collectively, leaving millions of followers in the dark. 18 months went by, a long 18 months at that. With still absolutely no answers on Paul's disappearance, Paul came back through a persona infamous for the name Troy Becker. Troy Becker was supposedly Paul's younger brother trying to break into the acting scene, but this fake identity would not last for long. Hey, what's up? Uh, my name is Troy Becker, I'm an actor. Uh, Paul Zimmer reached out to me and asked to record a video because he says he really, really looks like me and he wanted to post it onto something called TikTok. So there you go, Paul Zimmer. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. Paul was in the process of having his name legally changed to Troy Becker. Paul even tried to tell his fans that he would be giving Troy access to his social medias and handing them over to him because apparently Troy was a quote unquote 16 year old who is a younger, sexier version of himself. I mean, a bit odd to say that, even though he was literally talking about himself. In March of 2020, after a few month hiatus from social media, from the backlash of pretending to be someone else, Troy had returned to social media and said that he is an actor at heart. We also found out some information like he is married to Jamie now, and they also have a child together. Okay, time to clear this mess up. Is Paul Zimmer Troy Becker? Okay, first of all, I'm an actor. My name is Troy Becker and Paul Zimmer was a character I specially created for social media to entertain people. In other words, no one really knows the real me. I always wanted to inspire people from the videos I made with Paul Zimmer. I wanted him to be perfect, but I found out quickly that perfection just doesn't exist. So I got exhausted and depressed trying to live up to this new character. You know? I'm really not one to talk about drama, but with people making up rumors to why I disappeared with this whole Paul Zimmer, Troy Becker thing, with people saying that I got banned, people saying that I scammed people, oh my God. There's just too much BS out there, to be honest, that I have to clear all this up. Nope, just because I've done really good on social media doesn't mean I've scammed anyone. Also, I didn't get my success overnight, okay? It took me years, and I would broadcast for eight hours every single day. It didn't matter if it was Christmas or whatever holiday. I would be broadcasting for eight hours straight. And I always gave my followers everything that I promised and more. Also, 
I was never banned from anywhere. I chose to walk away because I was killing myself with the hours. So what's Troy doing today? Are him and Jamie still together? Like I said, they married a few years ago. For everyone who keeps on asking, yes, I used to go by Paul Zimmer, but my real name is Troy Becker. And this is my wife, and this is my baby. While Troy was talking about the Paul character, Jamie went onto her Instagram story and made a series of videos trying to debunk the rumors of them scamming. To make one thing clear to every single freaking person out there, okay, I am not a problematic person, but I will say, if you want to go ahead and keep accusing us of scamming people, pull up fucking proof. If you want to bring up our lively streams, pull them up because we did everything that we were supposed to freaking do. This is called defamation of character. Every single person who is accusing us of this, anything like this, even near this, can actually get sued for this. The sad part about this all, however, is the fact that Paul and Jamie, especially Jamie, was not being herself back when they were doing this kind of content together. This had caused Jamie to develop depression and PTSD, which she also says in this clip that she thought about taking her own life due to this entire situation. You guys do not know. I want to kill myself. And I went through such deep depression that I was literally diagnosed with, what do you call it again? Um, PTSD because of all the trauma that I went through. Does anybody know? This is why it is super important to know what you're getting into when you start a career with content creation because it really is not all glitz and glam. It can really end up in a situation like this.